Okay, in today's video, I am going to go over some basic circuit analysis for RC circuits. Those circuits are circuits that contain both resistors, hence the R, and capacitors, hence the C. We have a resistor and a capacitor right here, so we have an RC circuit. Now, this is the circuit we're going to use for this video. We have a 12 ohm resistor, a 3 microfarad capacitor, and we have a 9 volt power supply. And we're going to look at this circuit in two different time zones, two different times. One is at, immediately after the switch has been closed, which we often call time equals zero. Now, I think of it not really as time equals zero. It's right after the switch has been closed. So it's not really zero. It's a fraction of a second or a very small amount of time. But what happens, what does this circuit look like right after the switch has been closed? We want to know what is the charge on the capacitor? What is the potential difference across the capacitor? What is the current through the circuit and the resistor? And what is the potential difference or the voltage drop across the resistor? And this is right after the switch has been closed. And this is the way I think about this type of problem. Right after the switch is closed, all of the current, the total amount of current, the highest current, is flowing through the circuit and the resistor. But none of this current or no charge has yet reached or no charge has been put on to the capacitor. There is no charge on the capacitor. Okay, none of the charge has reached the capacitor. So really right after the switch has been closed, the charge on the capacitor is zero. Nothing has reached the capacitor. Now, if the charge on the capacitor is zero, and we know Q equals C times V, if we were to solve for V, we would know then that the voltage, there's no potential difference across the capacitor. No charge and no potential difference. But the current is actually flowing through the circuit. It's just that none of it has really reached the capacitor yet. The current, we're going to use V equals I times R. We're going to solve I equals V divided by R. We have a voltage. It's 9 volts. We have a resistance. It's 12 ohms. That means that the current through the circuit, through the resistor, is 0 0.75 amps. Okay? We have current, but no charge. Well, where is all the power that's in the circuit? Where, not the power, but where is all the voltage that's in the circuit? Well, it's on the resistor, and the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance, and that means that the voltage is equal to 0 0.75. We figured out earlier that's the current. That current is flowing through the resistor. That's the only thing that's using any of that energy or any of that voltage, and therefore we have that we have 9 volts, and that should match the battery. Okay, 9 volts, all of it is on the resistor. None of it is on the capacitor yet. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Now, we're going to talk about time equals infinity, or after a long time. What is the charge on the capacitor? What is the potential difference across the capacitor? What is the current through the circuit, and what is the potential difference across the resistor? Now, the key here is after a long time, the capacitor is fully charged. That's basically what they mean when they say after a long time. The capacitor is fully charged, and when the capacitor is fully charged, there is no current flowing through the circuit. That's the key. On the previous slide, we had current but no charge. Now we have charge but no current. All right, so I'm going to answer these not in one, two, three order. We're going to do number three first. After the capacitor is charged, after a long time, there's no current flowing in the circuit anymore, so therefore the current is zero amps. And if there's no current flowing through the circuit, we can do V equals I times R. V equals I times R, I equals zero, so that means that V is equal to zero. So there's no current flowing through the circuit. There's no voltage across the, resist across the resistor, no voltage drop. Well. Where is all that voltage? The voltage is now on the capacitor. At time equals infinity, at time equals a long time, the voltage is on the capacitor. The voltage of the capacitor is equal to the voltage of the battery. All right? Now, we can solve for the charge. How much charge is there? Because all the charge is there. We've put all the charge on the capacitor. Q equals C times V. We have a 3 microfarad capacitor. We said 
after a long time the charge, excuse me, the voltage of the capacitor is equal to the voltage of the battery, in this case 9 volts. So it's 3 times 9, 27 microcoulombs. Okay? That is after a long time, after time equals infinity. Okay, so those are the two cases. I'm just going to summarize them right here. And we have a time equals zero right after the switch is closed. The voltage on the capacitor is zero. The charge on the capacitor is zero. Well, there is current. The current is equal to the voltage of the battery times the total resistance. In this case, we just had one resistor. And the voltage of the resistor is equal to the voltage of the battery. Now, after a long time, it's kind of the opposite. The voltage of the capacitor is equal to the voltage of the battery. Now we have charge, we're going to, we would solve that by using Q equals C times V. Q equals ca capacitance times the voltage of the battery. Okay? Because all the charge is now on the capacitor. There's no current, and the voltage across the resistor is zero. All right? Now, one more thing before we finish. I just want to show you these quick curves. These are often curves that are used for RC circuits. I'm not going to go into them in a lot of detail, but you'll notice this is the voltage of the capacitor. This is at this is over time now. Okay, this is time down here. This is the voltage of the capacitor. This is just time. This is tau. These are the time constants one, time constant two, which we didn't talk about, but just realize time is increasing. Okay, and the voltage here is increasing. And you can see over time it, the voltage on the capacitor goes from zero to 100% of the battery. And the here, this one is the same thing, time down here, voltage of the resistor. So over time, the voltage on the resistor is the greatest. In our case, it was 9, and then it goes down to 0 volts. In this case here, it was 0 volts, and it would go up to 9. Here it's shown in percentages. OK, so that's how RC, that's in general how RC circuits work, especially simple RC circuits. And um, I hope you found that video helpful. If you found that video helpful, you could give me a thumbs up or a nice comment in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. And you can, and we will see you in the next video.